Jerry Allen was an especially lovely lady, jazz musician, professor, composer, and mother, wife, one of the greatest female contributors to jazz music ever to play piano. Jerry Antoinette Allen was called the queen of jazz, totally fitting. It is with sadness of heart we feel compelled to remind our community to recognize her and get to know her music and story so her music will live on with more audiences alike. But our hope is also to empower you women out there to know that female instrumentalists have been contributing consistently to jazz for years and hopefully more girls will learn and celebrate jazz in their communities and keep the music alive. Today, you will again learn about Jerry Allen in this virtual play through the lens of Miss G. We just had to bring her back to you. She is a fictional character created especially for giving voice and conversation to those women who have inspired and achieved heights in their careers as women in a male-dominated profession. Miss G is the quirky YouTube history teacher vlogger that everyone loves. So sit back and relax from the comfort of your homes, how she engages in the fabric of jazz and conversations we, with real community people who respond to, hold discussions, and perform Jerry's music. Welcome to my channel, Miss G and History. I'm so excited to talk to you today because I put a lot of thought in my post. And I, what better way to include community members in my channel than during a pandemic? If you're joining me for the first time, I am a history teacher vlogger. I also feature fashion hauls for teachers. Stay tuned for that next week, a little lookbook. Coming up again, like I said, next week. You know, I gotta represent y'all. But today, I'm excited to talk to you about jazz, the music, the history, the impact on the community today. And, I'm also saying that jazz needs to be discussed more because it's truly the America's classic music as they call it. No, you don't have to play jazz to study it. It's super fascinating to learn about the people behind the music. And today, I am going to share with you some comments that people made because they said to me, they want me to bring to my channel women of color who play instruments. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? I'm all about women's empowerment when it comes to the arts, math, science, technology, and engineering. They call that STEAM. So anyway, I'm really happy to bring this topic to my channel. And you know, I'm also realizing that Kids need to study jazz more in the virtual classroom or in the classroom. I feel it's very important to add this to the curriculum. I know that I do. But again, that's just my opinion. And what bugs me is that jazz should be appreciated more. You know, maybe on the radio in some places. I'm, I'm getting comments in some places that just you know, it's not as popular as it is as in, in some places. 
you know, like contemporary jazz, super sweet. So I'm going to share with you some comments that my viewers shared with me. Shen from Lower Manhattan says, my son and I were playing the piano. You see. I guess he takes music lessons or something. And she says, she asked me if I knew any jazz musicians. And I was very shocked because, you know, we never talk about jazz playing. But I did share with him that I knew a jazz musician who plays the piano. I fell in love with her music and wish they played her music more often on the radio. I think we should embrace jazz with our kids because it's super educational. Then she says, I love to see you spotlight Jerry Allen, especially she, since she's passed in the recent years. I want my son to learn more about the music. Daniel from San Diego says, I'm hoping to see your present music by Jerry Allen. She was an amazing pianist. Young girls and women need to see more female color musicians out there. If you know anything about Tia Fola, please devote an episode to these women. I think they are worth getting to know. Well, thank you, Tina and Shen, for that. Because today, I am going to feature a series entitled The Women Who Play Instruments. That is. And... I'm going to include a couple of my friends and community members. Sherry, Antoinette Allen. Love that. Antoinette Allen. From Pontiac, Michigan. Where are all my Detroit listeners out there? Yay, Detroit. So Jerry was born June 12, 1957. And she passed away on June 27th. 2017 and i just got the memo just found out about it but let me ask you guys when did you hear about jerry's passing did you hear about it in the media i just found out myself as well i was looking on youtube and there it was oh, totally sad a true legend so true I just want to thank the University of Pittsburgh Jazz Department, Mr. Hammond, for allowing us to share content of her as a professor and as a student there. That's awesome. You know, that's right. She did go to college there. Um, you know, one of the things I appreciate knowing about her is that when she uh, completed her PhD, she went back to New York. And she actually uh, teamed up with Steve Coleman, and um, she also played with Terry Lynn Carrington. Amazing. Speaking of which, I want to hear from a community member who doesn't know much about jazz or Jerry Allen. And I'm really excited about what she has to say. Heather Willard. Hello, uh, my name is Heather Willard. Um, I'm a traditional media artist and sing in my car. <laughs> uh, my initial impression of Jerry Allen, I was listening to her on uh, laptop computer speakers and all of the intricacies of her songs were completely muted by that so I just I was listening and I was trying to understand why am I why am I listening to this it just doesn't sound like anything special you're listening to drummer song upstairs and I'm uh the little office room that we have and it just it didn't make any sense to me so what we did was we plugged in some headphones and then I got it it's her music is complex it's stimulating it's really hard to follow um it's hard to pull out every bit of information she puts into her piece. I feel like there's a lesson she is trying to teach me and I can't understand it. And she was so focused on her playing. It looked like hard work, less like she was having fun and more like she was trying to tell me something, something vitally important. 
I'm still not sure what she was trying to say, but I do know it needs to be said and it needs to be understood. <laughs> The thing that stands out most to me about her style is that she plays with very in, uh, interesting and often dissonant notes. Uh, a lot of musicians seem to stay away from that, uh, but Alan doesn't. She just goes for it, incorporates them in really unexpected ways. Um, I'm reminded of what an art professor once told me in college that paintings, especially abstract painting should always have something that surprises the viewer, be it a pop of color or a <clears throat> brush stroke or uh, some kind of weird something in the middle of the canvas, but something that grabs the viewer's attention. And Alan's music really reminds me of this. It's unexpected the way she uses some of the notes and her tunes are unexpected. It's not something that you would normally hear necessarily on the radio. Um, as soon as you think you have the idea of your music, she changes it on you. So it's always interesting. I don't imagine I would ever get bored listening to her. Jerry Allen is an excellent example of what women can do. Um, she graduated and became a professor of jazz and really wanted to help her students. She wanted to be the best teacher she possibly could be and give the students somebody that she wished she had when she was growing up, uh, a professional that she wanted to interact with. And that's really inspiring to me because right now I'm trying to transition into teaching and I'm trying to think through like, okay, what kind of teacher would I want when I was going through school? And Jerry Allen did that for her students. Uh, she was so influential that somebody commented that there was a before Jerry Allen and an after Jerry Allen in uh, jazz. So. Her work was really influential for the jazz community. Um, I came into contact with Alan through the Lily Jazz Project, um, and I hope to learn what her music is saying, what message she's trying to communicate. Um, I really do feel like she's trying to say something. I just don't quite know what it is, which makes it so intriguing to me. So I've never heard of anybody like Jerry Allen. Um, a lot of my musical background is classical or uh, alternative rock music. Um, sometimes I'll dabble in a little bit of jazz, but it's never a specific person. It's always background music or uh, something like that. So Jerry Allen is really unique. Uh, the dissonant notes, like I mentioned earlier, completely took me off guard. I, I didn't know what to do with them, but it was so interesting to listen to. Um, I have not gone to a live jazz concert before. Um, I've been to classical music concerts, a few alternative rock concerts. Um, I've been to a handful of live music at coffee shops or parks or near water features, things like that. Um, and I absolutely love live music. Um, it's colored by the surroundings, it's colored by the people around you. Uh, you get to see, you know, the guy out of the corner of your eye who's crossing his arms and he's really mad and he's just kind of enduring it. And you get to see the girls in front of you and they're standing and singing and dancing their hearts out. You get to smell weird smells in the air. Uh, one concert I went to, I think somebody sprayed some kind of sandalwood in the air. I wasn't even sure what it was, 
but it was so cool just to experience live music. Um, and I haven't really sought out jazz, um, especially right now with COVID, there's not a lot of opportunities for that. Um, and you could always watch a live concert on the screen, but it just definitely is not the same. Um, but I really am looking forward to COVID being over and being able to pursue different live concerts, uh, maybe even jazz, maybe finding something that Jerry Allen, that's Jerry Allen inspired um, would be a lot of fun, so. Thank you so much, Heather, for that. That was really sweet of you to share, and I really appreciate it. That's great to get feedback from people, you know, who um, can experience learning about a uh, musician and, and just really feel um, the content of what they their message was. Jerry went to Howard for undergrad and has been interviewed that she thought that the kind of experience is valuable going to an all black college. Not too many of my students talk about black colleges, but I hope kids know that it is that it is true that black colleges are so impactful for students. You know, I kind of wish that more students would talk about black college experiences. Well, that's what I'm here for to be empowered by her story. But back to this idea about bringing music to the community. Let's hear what Heather's husband has to say, Christian, who seems to be very inspired by Jerry's work. He is a piano player. Hi, my name is Christian Wollard, and this is a variation on Drummer's Song by Jerry Allen, influenced mainly by alternative rock techniques. Thank you. 
that was awesome. I, I love what he did in that. He made it his own. Great solo, Christian Wallard. You're right. Wow, that was sweet. So obviously, you don't need to learn about a lot about jazz to really appreciate it. The fact that Jerry Allen's music inspired him through her work is beautiful. And Jerry Allen's music is beautiful. Wow, he's right. You know, that piece is not easy to play. Well, we're going to hear from Todd Brunel. He's a good friend of mine back in the day. He's a great guy. He teaches at Boston Public Schools. I told him what I was doing, and he jumped right in. So let's hear Todd Brunel play the clarinet. Go, Todd. Hi, my name's Todd. And... When I discovered the music of Jerry Allen, I was really blown away. I, I just couldn't believe what I was hearing. Somebody sent me a clip and I was quietly sitting on my couch and I thought, you know what? I'll check this out briefly. When I started listening, I couldn't believe what I heard. And thankfully, a friend challenged me to try and record one of her most popular songs called Drummer Song. And that's what I'm gonna present now. I just had myself working with myself, and I did the best I could. Her music is incredible, and her band is definitely worth listening to. I know I learned so much. Thank you so much, Jerry Allen, for your amazing, amazing music. <laughs> own but i felt like jerry was there as well awesome she would have been so proud of you but you know something what he did with his his piece right there was that he was integrating all these other instruments too so i love that he but he got real creative with his piece wonderful job todd so jerry earned 10 awards grammy nominated jerry was the director of the njpac 
an all-female jazz reggae group for girls 14 to 25, which is awesome. Is it still operating today? Well, yes. It was actually renamed this year. I heard from the NJPAC to Jerry Allen All-Female Jazz Camp. And I'm so glad it's going on. We really do need more jazz female musicians. Hakeem uh, Abdul-Ali uh, actually mentioned in an article that he wrote in the Chronicle that, um, you know, she was doing some great things. Uh, it said uh, she was moving the movement forward. So that's, she was doing some awesome stuff and I'm in agreement with everything. And the fact that she invests her efforts into uh, young girls, helping them to invest in their talents. Yeah, that was awesome. Absolutely empowering is an understatement. Sherry was in another lead, a forward thinker. And an innovator. Yes, I'd like to play a song from her Perfections album, 2016. was deep. Absolutely awesome. Just beautiful. Really beautiful. So let's hear from Hilary no Noble, who is an educator at Boston Public Schools and a jazz musician. Hilary Noble, everyone. I, when I think of jazz pianist Jerry Allen, great jazz pianist, I'm often struck by the fact that she really approached the playing the piano as if she was playing a percussion instrument, which in fact, in many ways it is. I find a great illustration of this in a concert she did in Lugano, Switzerland in the mid to late eighties, where she played a piece called uh, Feeding the Fire. And um, you notice right from the get go that the actual piece is not much more than a kind of montuno or repetitive ostinato that you might play in an Afro-Latin band when you're just trying to lock parts together with a percussion section. So she plays the piece and then from the very beginning you see the interactions between Jerry Allen and Lenny White and how they start to do hits at the same time, largely driven by Jerry on on the end of one or the end of four, to go, you'll see, and you'll hear um, Lenny's foot and crash cymbal accent, what Jerry's playing on the piano. Anyway, these jabs continue until around two minutes and 11 seconds. There's a whole series of them, and the energy is building. And as you continue watching the piece, you'll see this great interaction throughout. 
you even see in the dynamics of the way the stage is set up and the way Jerry has her eyes locked on Money White. But really for her, playing piano is about playing percussion and playing rhythm. After all, she is the composer of the drummer song. Hillary has been studying jazz for some time now. That was wonderful, Hillary. Awesome. Thank you so much for that. I like that Jerry inspires people through her work. Jerry as a composer is great. Here is a list of albums by Jerry. Flying toward the the sound is uh, her solo album I see there. You know, I remember when I first um, met Jerry in 2011 or 2012, she was performing at the uh, Double Tree Hotel in Cambridge, Massachusetts. My goodness, that was an amazing night. Uh, she was performing there um, with Terry Lynn Carrington and Esperanza Spaulding two of my other two favorites <laughs> in the world. And uh, so there I was just sitting there and I was feeling so inspired just to see them. And the fact is, you know, they're all women. So it inspired me to go on to play jazz even more so. So all these years later, I'm playing jazz now. <laughs> Thank you. That is what this is all about. Let's keep listening to Jerry's music. Jerry Allen's music is always going to be relevant. And I encourage my listeners to know more about her music. I want to give a very special thanks to Miss Miss Harris, allowing us to showcase Jerry Allen through her website, jerryallen.com, and also Caitlin Kalaskar from Atima.com. We appreciate all that you do to help keep this music alive and showing us new artists and to help keep the jazz scene alive and to help us keep us updated on the latest jazz scene. Thank you, Times Infinity, for your generosity. Thank you for joining me, everyone. 
and stay tuned next week, November 14th, when we have Tia Fuller, a female artist of color who's a jazz musician who plays the saxophone. And I can't wait. I'm so excited. Bye, Dar. Bye. Thank you for joining me, Miss G and History. And don't forget, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'm out. Thank you.